Harbor Pittsburgh's main building is one of the most recognized buildings in Pittsburgh. And I think one of the most beautiful. We have about five million items in our collection. And just opening a drawer and finding a folder, it tells a wonderful story. Very few people do know the story in this folder. It probably hasn't been opened in decades. This is from July 1940. Inside, there isn't much, just a few clippings about a woman named Elizabeth Black. And the only reason anyone's looking now is because of this man. I'm the son of Elizabeth Black. And what he discovered. The footlocker arrived. It contained tremendous artifacts and memorabilia about my mother. The Black Collection walked in our door, and it was amazing. Elizabeth Black was an up-and-coming artist in the 1930s. She obviously had a talent that was recognized by many people. Prominent people commissioned her work. She did portraits, murals, exhibits showcased her talent. The body of work that she did is just astounding. Elizabeth Black was on her way. The war interrupted a lot of careers. But World War II would also bring out her best. Elizabeth Black really symbolized the Red Cross spirit. She drew up a unique plan to serve her country, traveling through war zones in Europe. Those soldiers' portraits have an intensity. Sketching more than a thousand soldiers for the folks back home. So there she was with an easel sketch pad. And I was standing there watching her. The soldiers looking on, I, I think they're having a good time. And just seeing a female meant a lot to them. From the turmoil and anxiety to, gee, this is heaven. Now, John Black is on a journey through his mother's life, meeting those she touched, researching an art career that disappeared. It's a mission turned mystery. This is the only picture that we've been able to find. As he tries to uncover her celebrated portraits of literary masters. Are they hidden behind these library walls? Yeah, there's something there. I see some writing. He also hopes to find those soldiers who are still with us. October 17th. That's it. <laughs> 1944. And make sure long lost sketches are in appreciative hands. Okay, Mom, here you go. Been waiting 60, 65 years for this, so open it up. It took a long time for this sketch to find its home. These portraits were a tremendous gift to the parents and the wives. This is the story of Elizabeth Black and her portraits for the home front that meant so much to so many Americans. She was a wonderful patriotic woman to do the things that she did. This is my dad, and it means the world to me.